Hello, I am going to give you a tour of my uh, Blackboard template that I'm working on for CILE. I'm in the student preview mode right now. Um, I have the announcements pulled up, and by the way, I'm, I'm using this concurrently for a couple of courses that I'm teaching. Um, so anyhow, there are some announcements already in there, of course. Um, and then I have uh, my banner with my name, email address, and the uh, course number. And then under the Start Here tab, I have a welcome video. Uh, it's about, oh, it's about just under three minutes long. And I did that through uh, Zoom and then into Panopto. And then I have a course navigation PDF and document. Just goes through uh, course navigation. Basically is the paper or the printed step-by-step -step version of what I'm doing with you right now. So, um, so anyhow, that's in there as a, uh, as a PDF. Okay. Or as a Word doc, you can open it here and view it this way. So it just goes through, start here and click on syllabus, click on textbook info, facilitator info and so on. So anyway, I used uh, Snagit to do the screen grabs. And then within Snagit, you have the ability to circle and put arrows in and zoom and stuff and zoom in and stuff in that. So, so anyhow, that's what, the, that's what that document shows. And again, we're under the Start Here tab. So I'll keep it fairly quick. Um, I also under the Start Here tab have links to uh, other folders and areas that that uh, they that the students can access. So it's the same ones that are over here, but they have the ability to access that uh, from this spot. So let's move into start here videos. Um, I have four. Uh, gradable items uh, each week that are due. One is the pa a Padlet, uh, another is the case studies, and then the PhysioX labs, and then exams. So I did put a short video that uh, discusses how to access uh, the Pad, for instance, the Padlet, how to access the Padlet, uh, what my expectations are for doing the Padlet. Same with the case studies, just a video that discusses how to access the case studies, how to do the Dropbox, and again, my expectations uh, for the case studies. And then the PhysioX, uh, same thing, a video about, that's our virtual lab that we're doing. So a short video about how to access PhysioX, uh, how to perform uh, one of the labs as well. And then uh, the exams, how to access exams and what the expectations are for that. And then uh, I have uh, kind of a, I recorded the first uh, day of class. It's, an as it's asynchronous, but uh, first day of office hours, I should say. I recorded the session. I had several students show up. Uh, I went through some of the Blackboard basics with them as well as some expectations. So I did record that uh, office hours session back on May 28th, and I also put that video in there. Um, so anyhow, we've got the syllabus. Uh, next up, the PDF and Word doc, if they want to access those. And then uh, they can also look through the syllabus right in Blackboard. And then I also have the course outcome summary from WIDS uh, in there too. Some light reading. If they need a cure for insomnia, they can go through and 
read through all of those WIDS competencies um, and objectives. And then I also broke down our class, uh, uh, kind of condensed this 15 page WIDS document into one page of the competencies and bold uh, what systems we're working on. And then there's the essential career competencies uh, from the Gateway uh, Handbook. So that is under the syllabus tab and then the textbook info tab uh, goes through the textbook information, of course. Uh, we use an OpenStax uh, text, so there's the link uh, for that, the OpenStax link. And then this is the PDF of the textbook so they can download that. And then this has the ISBN number for the lab manual that they need to purchase. And then the facilitator uh, info located there with my teaching philosophy. I don't know if I'm going too slow or too fast, uh, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat in the middle range so there's that um facilitator course calendar i uh, put that in that's gonna yeah, it says no content to display so um i'll have to check and see why that's the case um units um, i'm doing uh we have 12 competencies to cover in 12 weeks um, so a competency per week so what i've done is uh put three uh, competencies in each, in one of four modules. So we're gonna have four modules with three competencies slash units under each module. So module one is gonna have one, two, three. Module two, one, two, three. So this would cover three weeks, weeks one through three. This covers weeks four, five, and six. We're just entering week four, so we have uh, module two beginning today uh, for my students. Once you open that module, uh, there's a uh, table of contents that's gonna provide um, students access to the engage, comprehend, practice, and apply folders for each competency. So under the engage folder, uh, is going to be the Padlet as well as some uh, links that go with the Padlet, some YouTube video links or websites. Under the Comprehend tab, uh, they will find the case study Dropbox and then uh, some of the PowerPoints uh, that uh, the students can access. And then under practice uh, are the PhysioX uh, virtual labs with drop boxes and a link to Quizlet uh, nervous system for this particular um, uh, competency. And then the apply uh, link that will open the exam in Blackboard. And then I have a, a reflection journal that they uh, have the option to fill out each week. So anyhow, they all look uh, fairly similar. Um, so competency two, and then engage, comprehend, practice, apply, and competency three, engage, comprehend, practice, apply. So um, again, those are under the units tab. Some students have asked for a little more uh, review, uh, so I did put, uh, a couple of, I've added a few extras. That's part of one of the reasons why I, I created the first three uh, competencies or module one before the beginning of, of the course. Um, so these first three weeks were somewhat trial and error, uh, kind of a beta test for me. Um, I received feedback throughout and took it to heart and uh, added in some uh, items uh, for module two. So then moving forward as I'm creating module three, if there are any additions or, or subtractions or changes, I'll make those. Um, let's see, the other, a couple other items real briefly and that, that'll be it. Um, module one, uh, 
uh, video lectures and PowerPoints. So I do have Google Slides uh, that I put together that they can access as well for module one. And then I also have uh, Panopto lecture videos that go with each of those Google slideshows. So I'll be doing uh, module two video lectures and PowerPoints uh, will be going up today. So um, a lot of videoing uh, going on on this Monday. Then the other, uh, I decided to put some quick access links to just the assignments uh, that uh, they have to do. There's a Padlet tab. It's got the first three Padlet uh, direct links. So then that way they don't have to go into units, into the competency uh, folder and, uh, or the module folder and find the competency. They can access, uh, these are linked uh, within the course. Okay, so they can access those. Under the PhysioX one as well, I also put a video, a how-to video, how to access PhysioX. I did a practice uh, lab in there to show them how to, to perform those talks about the Dropbox, what to submit. And then there's a, a PhysioX access guide uh, that I also uh, put in there that again shows them right from how to access, uh, how to purchase the textbook or to acquire the text. And then uh, going through what, uh, what the, uh, how to log in and uh, what to look for. So and then I put a video with that as well. Okay. And then again, the first three uh, PhysioX uh, drop boxes. And then lastly, an exams tab so they can get directly to the exams. <clears throat> and then they can get to their weekly journal uh, as well. There are web links. Um, I put together uh, several different playlists for, from YouTube that uh, may be helpful uh, as well. And then of course our Zoom meeting room and the Panopto video. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tour and have a great day.